Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today we are looking at the oldest makeup in my collection. Some of it, it's it's gross. Like disclaimer, I'm exposing myself as a makeup hoarder. Help me be convinced that I should throw most of this away. <laughs> so if you wanna see all of my literal dirty secrets in my collection, or uh, maybe you remember some of these products from years and years and years ago, keep on watching. Before we get too far into the video, if you have not already, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I upload twice a week. It's totally free to subscribe and I would love to have you back on the channel. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much and please click that like button. It really helps my channel out a lot. So uh, let's get into the nitty gritty of my oldest items in my collection. I think I'm going to go kind of the order I would do my makeup in and I'm going to save some of the like worst things for last. So. First, we're just gonna start with primer. So I think the oldest primer in my collection, because I actually do like finish up primers compared to some other products, is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I got this one at first launch, and this is the original one. I've never gone through my first one. It just wasn't my favorite. Like, it wasn't all it was hyped up to be, in my opinion. So I went back in my phone through my orders on my Ulta app, and they keep track from years ago, guys. So this is the oldest primer, and it says I bought this on May 4th of 2019. So 20, 21, 22, this is almost three years old, which is the oldest one in my collection. I actually used this recently, and it was, it was okay. So even though this is three years old, and I'm sure expired by like terms of what it says expiration date on the outside, I think it holds up pretty good, and I didn't have like a bad skin reaction or anything, so almost three years old, oldest primer in my collection, but like, I'm still gonna finish this one. Now, I will say when I was finding some products and was like, this is the oldest one, it kind of let me know like, okay, if it's like this and I feel like it still might be okay to use, I'm gonna focus on finishing this now because I'm like, it's gotta go. Like three years is, that that's too old. So like, obviously I've made a little bit of a divot in there, but I've got a lot to go. So I'm gonna be focusing on finishing this one since it is so old. All right, next up is foundation. So this is actually a BB cream, but it is the oldest one I could find. And it is so old in my collection that even though I got it from Ulta, it's not on my app. Like that's how old it is. I doubt they even have this packaging or maybe even this exact formula anymore. This is the Ulta Beauty BB cream in light, and it is a broad spectrum SPF 20 sunscreen product. So it's actually almost gone, but there is a little bit left. So I'm just gonna show you. I have a feeling, oh, can I get this out? This might be, this might be helping me to like throw stuff away, guys. It says, oh no, oh no, okay. I'm exposing myself, guys, this is embarrassing. The expiration date's on here, can you see it? 2017, that was the expiration. I should not put this on my face, you guys. It's gonna break me out. I, I'm gonna have to throw this away. And honestly, I'm squeezing it and nothing's coming out. So this is gonna go in the trash. There, I squeezed enough out to show you. I probably stopped using this because that's the shade of it. Clearly, like, not my shade, right? Like, you can see how much tanner it is on my hand than like, I don't know. This foundation isn't a good example because this is actually a little deep for me too. I just tried to make it work, but if you look like compared to my neck or my hand, that's not my skin tone, which I would say like Ulta's pretty guilty of that. Anything that's light is usually too dark for me. I'm not like Taylor Wynn pale, but I usually need something that says like ivory or porcelain or fair, something lighter than light because this is too deep for me. So. This is gonna go in, I don't know, maybe should I put it in my empties since I could barely squeeze any out, but this is this is gonna go. I've been holding on to this like container, like I'm gonna use this from 2017. What is wrong with me? What's actually wrong with me, you guys? So I didn't put in this video um, some products that I go through all the time, like eyeshadow primer. I don't have anything really that's that old. Like the oldest thing I have is what I'm using now, the Urban Decay. Um, eyeshadow primer potion. I just got this for Christmas. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably Christmas 2020, so it's a, like over a year old, but it's perfectly fine, and it takes forever to go through these. So that's my oldest one of that. My oldest brow product is the City Color Brow. 
It's basically gone. You guys probably just saw, if you didn't see my last video, I'll leave it linked in the cards. I sometimes use this powder for like shadow liner. It's actually what I'm wearing today is shadow liner as well. So this is almost gone, but that's like my oldest one. This one's pretty old. It's probably a good three years old, probably as old as that primer too. I got this from Ipsy. It took forever to use all of that powder. Um, but some products like just don't have stuff like eyebrow gel, same thing. This Essence one is the oldest one. Might be a year or two old, but I don't know. I feel like that's not terrible to me. Now, let's talk about this though. Most products, they usually say either six months or 12 months, right, for the expiration once you've opened it. I don't go by those. Do you guys go by those? Even if I use one product every day religiously, I usually can't go through it in that amount of time. And I wear makeup usually I would say six to seven days out of the week, like almost every day, if not every day. And I can't go through it in that amount of time. But I've also not had a lot of experiences where like I, there were negative consequences for going past that date. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think about that or what do you do? Do you like strictly adhere to those and throw them away? Or are you kind of like, mm, maybe if it's an eye product, I'm more careful than if it's like complexion. Like, how do you feel about that? I'd be really curious to know. Okay, so next up, ooh, let's let's go ahead and do the, this is the worst one, you guys. Okay, I had to dig her out. This is the Pretty in Neutrals makeup palette. This was, I think, the first palette I ever owned. I do believe that my mom got this for me when I was in high school. The date on the right on the back here says what year it came out. 2013. <laughs> so this is almost 10 years old definitely expired and you can see like it had the old sponge applicators like that's what I used in high school it did come with this little like flimsy brush that I never used and you can see like I beyond hit pan on some of these shades like obviously I was using this a lot this is what I used in high school um, and I don't use this now because I'm like kind of scared of it to be honest but like for its time had a decent sized mirror and like I thought it was great so I'm gonna swatch some of these just because I'm curious like I kind of want to feel how this feels knowing what I know now being accustomed to the quality I am now I want to like travel back nine almost ten years ago and kind of see how this is so I'm gonna do a couple mattes and I'm gonna swatch them for you guys just so we can see like the pigmentation and stuff and this isn't even like a drugstore brand or anything you guys like it's Avon you know so, okay, I'm trying to really dig in so we can get some pigment. So here are, oh, it's so crumbly. It's so crumbly. Okay, so dusty, can't see it, my skin tone. You can see the taupe a little bit. There's the black on top. The black was the one that was super crumbly, by the way, for the matte. So they, I don't know, like they have pigmentation still, but they're definitely crumbly and dried out. I mean, they're almost 10 years old. Of course they are. So let's see the shimmers. I would be scared to put these on my eyes, honestly. But then part of me, because I was thinking about doing this video and part of me was like, should I actually apply these products? Like, would I, should I do that for a video? Probably not. But like, should I, in the sense of like entertainment for you guys, <laughs> let me know if you want to see me apply these products in a separate video to see like, do they still perform? Let me know, because I feel like I would probably take that risk. Like, I would probably not leave it on for a long amount of time, but you know. Um, and then I'm going to go in with a couple shimmers here just to see, oof, oof, you guys. There's so much kick up and fallout in the pan that's like, eek, 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 eek. I mean, this could have been the quality back then too. It might not be because it's old. It could just be poor quality, you know? is definitely not what I'm used to now. Okay, so these are the shimmers. So this is like a greeny gold metallic one. Then we've got an actual gold one in the middle. And then up here, it's more of like a taupey beige shimmer. I think you can see it a little bit on camera. I mean, they're not like impressive shimmers, but I could say that about like too Faced and Tarte as well, you know? Like, it might be just as shimmery as some of those are brand new today, so I don't know what to say about that. But the real deal with this palette, what was cool, was not only was it an eyeshadow palette, but 
in true old-fashioned slider style the bottom slid out so we have some bronzers blushes highlighters and lips and some different like cheek quote-unquote brush like no <laughs> no I the thing is there's pigment on this though so at some point I tried to use this is what that means to me oh my gosh and some little lip brushes and you can see I dove into those like lip little trays as well there's some divots so let's see how these are so we've got a matte and a shimmery bronzer we've got uh, I think they're both kind of like oh, oh oh okay one of these is kind of feeling like a cream blush and one of them is a powder brush okay so we got the regular bronzer so they're very uh, orangey feeling by the way honestly okay they're a little crumbly but I don't know that I'm that mad at these like is 10 years old so here's the first bronzer the matte one Here's the more shimmery one. Here is more, one of the more like peachy blushes, and then this one's a little bit more like moth. But honestly, like, those don't look terrible, do they? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I honestly, like, I would be less scared to use if you guys wanted to see how they performed. I'd be less scared to put them on my face than I feel like on the eyes. And then these, I kind of remember them being, let me feel them. Oh, yes. I kind of like, as I'm pulling my finger, there's like, the stringy goop they're like bad glosses like look at the texture on that that is gloopy gloopy yuck no like the pretty the colors are pretty but no the texture is a big no for me so i just had to share with you this little moment of history of you know the 24 eyeshadows four oh it says four blushes i would not use this as a blush i would think it was a bronzer uh, four lip glosses and two bronzers. Okay, so there is two bronzers. Did I forget to, s no I did. Did I? No, I don't think I swatched these highlighters for you. I just did the bronzers and the blushes, which they're saying they're all blushes, but okay, these two are like not even showing up. Like you can see the powder on my hand, but with the color, it's like barely there. There's the other two so-called blushes. I don't know, I'm fair enough. Maybe they would show up. Ah. Uh, Am I talking myself into throwing this out or am I talking myself into trying it? <laughs> I feel like I talked myself into, well, I didn't talk myself into the Ulta ones like empty, but I feel like I'm curious about this one. Anybody? 10 year old makeup try on? Anybody? Or literally say no in all caps if you're just concerned, which is probably the normal response. All right, so next up I've got from e.l.f. the Volume and Defining Mascara. I remember shopping when Wes and I first started dating in the Newark, Ohio Alta, because that's where he was living at the time. Um, so that means this is over five years old, this mascara, if we would have just been like starting to date and see each other. And I remember getting this because it was a dollar at Alta. And I'm pretty sure I've put this in videos before as being like the worst mascara I've ever tried. Like it doesn't do anything. And look how like gloopy it is. Ugh. That's another one that I'm like, look, you need to just throw this out, Caitlin. What are you doing with your life? That's that's gross. You should not put that on your eyes. It's not safe. Like, but does anybody else like me have this weird, like I have this weird desire to do it anyway? <laughs> what is wrong with me? You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, or you just want to save everything and be like, Oh, I can just put a couple drops of contact solution in that and stir it back up and it'll just, you know, perk right back up. I don't know what's wrong with me, but that's my oldest mascara. All right, and I've saved the best for last for you guys. I know some some of you are like me and I'm like a girl after your heart because you too. Oh, hi Garfield. Hold on, Garfield wants to say hi. Oh, here he is. He's saying hi. Say hi to the people literally hides his face okay he doesn't want to say hi to you he wants to be an ostrich it's fine um <laughs> anyway like i was saying some of you are like girl you are after my own heart because you understand the like hoarding issue right so as my final piece of my oldest makeup in my collection okay i was looking at lip products and i bring to you this gem okay so this is a chapstick 
and I was looking, this is also from Avon. I feel like that's what my mom gave me a lot when I was in high school. It, it had to have been because pretty much the only makeup I had was what my mom gave me. I didn't have a job until the end of my senior year in high school in 2009, so anything before that would have come from her and even after that, like, poor college kid vibes, you know? So I looked at the back of this and the year says, can you see it? Dare I show you? Can you see the year there? If not, it says 1997. Ma'am, 1997. And you know what's the worst part? It still smells like chocolate. <laughs> Yes, this is a chocolate scented, and it's like brown because it's chocolate lip balm, and it still smells like chocolate. You can't tell me that's not impressive. Since 1997, oh, this is over 20 years old. This is almost as old as I am, and I still have it, and it still smells like chocolate. And it's not like oddly moldy or anything. Like it's in okay condition what's happening and that's the kind of thing that makes me goes what is in cosmetics that this is like seems fine after 20 years that's a little scary that that's going on your mouth right so will i use this up will i actually use it will i throw it out stay tuned folks stay tuned and find out <laughs> So yeah, this is a little bit of a different video for me, but it just seemed like a good idea. I knew I had some stuff that was going to be wild in my collection, and I just want to expose myself and share that with you. So I hope you got a good laugh, if nothing else, from some of the oldest things in my collection, and I hope to see you back again on the next video. Bye!